Hi there. UiPath Assistant is the center of all your attended automation needs. It's an application which allows you to view, manage, and schedule jobs. As a client of the robot service, it can request to start or stop jobs and change settings based on user input. Once you have UiPath Studio or Studio X installed on your machine, in order to bring UiPath Assistant up, just launch it. You are presented with three widgets running processes, process list, and reminders. The first one lets you see all currently running processes. This is where you can pause, resume, or stop a process. The process list widget allows you to view all the available automation processes from the environments and folders the robot is a part of if it's connected to orchestrator or local ones if it's offline. Here you can download, update, start or stop a process or even search for a specific one from the list. If you're looking to pause one that's already running, head above to the running processes widget. Last but not least, the reminders widget enables you to create reminders for specific processes you want executed. Now, in order to get things going, we need to get our assistant online if it's not already connected to Orchestrator. To do so, click the wheel icon in the top right and click Orchestrator settings. Assuming your machine is already configured in Orchestrator, just copy the Orchestrator URL and the machine key in their designated fields and then click Connect. When the connection is established, the status updates to Connected, Licensed. Moving on. Installing a process is as simple as clicking a button. Just click the Install button next to the desired process and wait for it to download. To start a process is just as easy. Click the Start icon next to the installed process and automation magic will happen. Keep in mind that there are two different kinds of processes. Foreground, which can only be run one at a time due to UI interaction, and background, which don't use UI interaction. There can be multiple background processes running at the same time. As soon as you get the hang of it, you can try customizing your experience by creating your own keyboard shortcuts. Click on the wheel icon in the top right, choose Settings, and then navigate to the Keyboard Shortcuts tab. Here, you can define key combinations to easily pause, resume, or stop a running process or to start specific processes. In case you need to run a process at a specific time, you can set a reminder. Click the Add New Reminder button in the Reminders widget, select the desired process, choose its frequency, and define the time and date you want it initiated at. Click Save to store your settings. When a reminder pops up, a small notification is displayed. You then can either snooze, dismiss, or start the process. Bear in mind that a reminder does not start the selected process without your consent. One more thing. For those of you out there that prefer different themes, we have good news. You can choose from up to four themes, or just let the assistant do it for you, based on your settings in Windows, by selecting the auto mode. And that's how easy it is to use UiPath Assistant. Thanks for watching.